Hello everybody, Adriana Sanchez from Sifa Ninja here. I came to visit one of my clients, Sea Fitters, so I could test their tuna. So we're going to be doing the same thing that we have been doing with the other videos and we're going to look at this beautiful steak that has been treated with carbon monoxide and it's a product from Indonesia and we're going to look to see how is it supposed to look like when you have a really good raw material that is treated with CO and nothing else so join us in the kitchen all right so we're going to be adding this beautiful tuna steaks from seafarers look at that beauty and then we're gonna see what happens when it cooks about 25 minutes okay guys so we have thoroughly boil this and now i'm gonna take the steak out and then we can look at the water and then do our little test that we learned on the other videos all right so we're gonna open it and then take out the steak first and then we are going to so first like the color of the water as you can see it's kind of like clear it doesn't have that you know orange yellow pissy water And it smells like tuna, does not smell like boiled chicken. So that right there, it's good. All right, so now we're gonna check the other, the color, the inside color. So you can see it doesn't have that, that film that the other steaks had. It's nice and firm. And then when you open it, it looks like nice and white. It doesn't have that red, pink, weird hue. All right, so this is the second steak that we um, cooked from Seafarers. As you can see, it has like a really nice cooked color. It does not look like it was added with colorants. The water is nice and, and clear. It doesn't have that yellow crazy look. And then for the meat itself, it doesn't have that weird film that we found on the other videos. And the meat's really nicely cooked. So it doesn't have that red colorant, you know, that we found in the other um, tuna steaks that we have tested so far. If you haven't seen those videos, please do check it out so you can see what to look for. Okay, guys, so we boiled the sprout steaks for about 25 to 30 minutes. And look at that difference. We are gonna take the steak out so you can see that water. Remember, we always look at the water and it's so yellow, it's so gross. Looks like pee. Oh. And then we're gonna look at the steak and you see it has like that pink hue. This steak says in the retail bag that is treated with carbon monoxide. It does not have any additional ingredients listed but as you can see, if we have learned anything from the other videos, is that this has something else. It has that little like weird spongy film that we saw on the other tunas that we tested. And then when you open it, it's so clear the color difference. So if you can remember, we also did our tuna from Seafarers, one of my clients, and look at that difference. This is how we know that the tuna from Sprouts it's not only treated with CO, but also must have something else, which, you know, you need a lab to be able to figure it out. But just looking at the color, you know that it's not the right thing. And also on the liquid, which where's my liquid bag? Oh, we'll put it on here. The smell, it smells like boiled chicken. Like if you were to boil chicken, look at that color. If you were to boil chicken, it would smell like this, like the tuna. And it's not supposed to smell like that. It needs to smell like tuna. So, conclusion. You can, if you have a really good raw material and you treat it with CO, taste of smoke, clear smoke, you don't have to add anything else for color retention or like anything. Because as we can see with the Seafarer's tuna, it's perfect. Now. The tuna from Sprouts, which we'll have to do another video, it's not. It has something. A color, 
it smells like boiled chicken the water is not clear so we need to know what is being added to the food that we eat and this is why i'm making these videos because seafood is one of the healthiest proteins that we can have and if these additional ingredients are not added to the ingredient list then we're being fooled so stay tuned as we continue to uncover vitamin tuna and create more videos of the tuna in your closest retailer thank you bye